Welcome to Force everybody, it's the winter time and most of you are probably researching flights to the Caribbean destinations or South America looking to get a little warm and I'm here to talk a little bit about the Liquid Force Pro Golf kiteboarding bag. Uh, we are in a search for the best kiteboarding travel bag. We looked at a bunch of different options and we're voting with two hands up. This bag is one of the best I've ever seen. What we like a lot about the bag is does not scream kiteboarding on the back. So it's one thing to go to the airport and say it's like, hey, I'm a golfer, here's my bag. But in most cases, you know, if you go, if you go to the airport with a shiny bag that screams like slingshot or bright colors or or whatever that is, it's hard to get in the airport without paying the $200 fee. So let's look at this bag really quick. It's a blue, it's shiny bag, it says skyboarding on it. It's a great looking bag, but if I work at the airport, it's gonna be really hard for me to say, yeah, right, you're a golfer on this. This bag, it's simple. It has green and black color. It has a golf ball logo on it. It says pro golf on that, which is pretty cool. It's funny that the golf actually stands for Go Liquid Force, which is pretty cool. Another thing is like it has the Bushwood Masters logo on it which is kind of neat. And when you blend black, green, and a little bit of brown, that gives you a pretty good chance to roll into the airport without paying that $200 fee that this is gonna charge you. Let's see what's going on with this bag. It's like one problem with the kiteboarding bags, they just look big, right? It's like we have to put a bunch of gear in it and the bag looks bulky and big. So I don't think that this is the case with this bag. Even that inside we have four kites. Again, we have four kites inside and two boards. Actually, in one of the twin tips inside, you're gonna see in a little bit, we haven't even removed the straps. So, so much gear inside. You know, it's like four kites is a lot of kites to take on the trip and two boards, it does not look big. I like the buckle here, so it compresses the back, uh, the back inside and it's pretty wide. So again, let's open inside and see what's happening. But uh, you're gonna find four kites and one of the twin tips that actually we put inside this bag is 148 centimeters. 148 centimeters by 45 and a half. So that's one of pretty large lightweight boards. So we have one kite, my harness is inside, we have a pump, bar, another kite, one more kite. In case it gets really windy, we have one more kite. We have my favorite carbon board. Oh, check this out. We haven't even removed the fence on that board and everything fit in it. So I don't recommend that. Strip down the fence, strip down the struts. What I'm showing here is like how much volume you have in this bag. And from that little bag on the outside, I was able to pull pretty, pretty, whoa, huge light wind board. So a lot going on on this bag. I think that it's done perfectly. It has just enough padding, but it, without sacrificing weight. So your boards will be safe in it. It's pretty simple. It's a golf bag that actually work. It doesn't screen kiteboarding on it. So if, you, if you're heading to the Caribbean or wherever you're going, check out this golf bag. Is it four skating